everybody. So this video uh, will depict the installation of Exchange Server 2019 on a Windows Server Core 2019 environment. Uh, in this case, I already uh, built two uh, Exchange Servers 2019 preview edition on uh, Windows Server Core 2016. So you see the version numbers of those. Uh, let's log into the Windows Server Core server. Just the usual uh, log on screen, no uh, GUI. So it's a text interface. So logging in, applying settings, and here we are. We are logged in as an administrator in the domain lab 2019. To configure a specific computer, we have to start as convic, and you see that the computer is already joined to the domain. Uh, the remote management has been enabled, Windows update settings have been configured, remote desktop has been enabled. And Etc. Et so in this case, also I would like to show you that the network configuration or is already configured. So this uh, computer, uh, domain computer, is already fully prepared to be installed with Exchange Server from an Active Directory standpoint. Let's uh, go back to the Active Directory user computer. So in this case, it's the L19 EX. 04 with the uh, in the description the specific windows versions so i was a bit lazy to build a new environment uh, here we see blog posts or the, the uh, docs page from microsoft depicting how you have to install exchange server 2019 so you have to have the net framework the visual c plus uh, plus which is only required in specific uh, situations so if you want to uh, install the Windows Server 2019 prerequisites, this page will tell you what you have to do and in which way you have to do it. Uh, specifically also, if you uh, want to do an installation on Windows Server Core or uh, an installation on the GUI version of Windows Server 2019, so not the Server Core, obviously. Uh, and there's also a depiction of how, what to do when you want to install the Edge Transport Server or the management tools on Windows 10. Uh, on your workstation if if that's necessary so that's the page and this is back to the uh, desktop the sconfig or the command prompt let's uh, go to the specific prerequisites we have to install on the server and in this case i start with the .NET framework the offline installer i has already uh, downloaded it and put it on the t drive and i'm currently now installing it uh, it's the ndp 472.axe uh, uh, file so um, i'm trying to install it and uh, you see the extracting files and then it comes up with a notification that the installation will not incur will not occur because uh, in this case it's not really uh, required because it's already included in Windows Server Core 2019. So let's install the uh, Visual uh, C++ uh, redistributable and that's basically the VC redist.axe uh, and then install it, click and it's done. Now back to the installation of the prerequisites and I wanted to install the install Windows feature and it fails because I'm still in the command line so going back to powershell and then redoing it and then you see that the installation has been successful we now install the dotnet we install the visual c plus plus and we install the windows feature server media foundation now let's go to the d drive and it's uh, containing the uh, mounted dvd for exchange server and if you go to the UCMA redist folder, you find the UCMI prerequisites. So currently I'm in uh, still in PowerShell. So if I just try to do setup.exe, it fails. So I have to change that. Um, and if I do the setup, you see the UCMA installation screen. Um, you see, it's a little bit weird. Uh, I guess this is because it's a server core installation, so not all the GUI things are uh, ideally uh, processed or something like that. Anyways, you can just install it. Uh, I, I, uh, you don't have to think, uh, uh, tick every box. So now we have finished the UCMA Redist installation. I sped up some of the installations. So. 
And now we see the installation uh, of all the Windows features that are required as stated on the uh, pre-mentioned docs page. So and now we see an error uh, immediately. And this is a, 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 at least at the time of my installation, I just copy pasted that, that, that uh, syntax, but there are some errors in it. Uh, so I had to remove uh, some of the uh, features that I wanted to install uh, on this computer. So I removed several of those uh, features and at the end, I will uh, uh, make a description below the video which ones you have to remove. And eventually um, I found the correct uh, version uh, or the correct uh, features that have to be installed and do not uh, generate an error message. So we checked everything. Okay, now in the last attempt, and now it's collecting data, it's starting the installation. And obviously I've sped up the installation again for this video. And almost there, installation has been successful. So no restart required, exit code successful. So everything uh, now, so th this domain computer is now fully prepared to install Exchange Server 2019. Okay, so now we're going back to the installation uh, root folder of the uh, ISO, and you see here the Exchange Server MSI and the setup.exe of Exchange. And uh, for this installation, obviously because this is a server core, I want to do a unattended install. So if you do the setup slash help install uh, requirement, you see all the options you can use during the installation of Exchange, and that obviously can uh, help your installation of Exchange. For instance, you, you can install the correct roles. Obviously, you have to accept the server license agreement, the, uh, the disabling of the uh, anti-malware functionality if you don't require it, uh, a specific domain controller. You can also uh, install the uh, Windows Server Rover uh, components automatically. So the organization name is something that will not happen in this case because I already have some Exchange servers. Uh, but there are some other uh, options here that uh, will could benefit greatly in your installation of Exchange. One of the things I uh, prefer to do with an installation of Exchange is to determine the database file path of a initial database because every setup of Exchange will generate a database. So uh, in this case, I want to uh, pre-stage already uh, the database in the correct location with the correct name and uh, the correct log folder uh, option. And I will I would recommend that everybody does that uh, installation, even if you have an, a different version of Exchange with a, a GUI version or something like that, just do that and uh, it will benefit your deployment greatly. So now because I'm in the PowerShell, I'm going to exit it. I'm going back to the D drive and then start setup with the mode install, the role mailbox, the uh, license terms, the database name DB04 with the log folder path and the DB file path with explicitly the db04.edb file name. So I'm going to try this and you see the notification that it is a Microsoft Exchange Server 2019 unattended setup and it will try to install Exchange. And in this case, it, it ends with an error because the log file folder is not correct. And um, I uh, changed that and I removed the, the uh, last slash and just for the sake of it, just to try it, I added uh, quot quotation marks. And now you see the copying of files and uh, configuring the prerequisite, the analysis. And there are some warnings because I didn't set up a send connector and I, uh, because I did the pre previous installation, there probably also schema changes and stuff like that. So I warned for that, but it continues with the installation. And uh, obviously this installation has been sped up uh, quite significantly, but it shows the uh, fully detailed installation of Exchange and all the facets of it. And 
Luckily, uh, the installation has been uh, finalized and has been completed successfully. Um, and uh, there is a general recommendation to uh, perform a reboot after uh, the installation, just prior to placing it into production. And that's uh, obviously a, a sound thing to do in any case. I always uh, reboot a server before performing an update and stuff like that. So uh, because I'm in the command line, I'm just trying the shutdown slash R uh, command. Um, well, in this case, it, it always uh, uh, default to 60 seconds timeout. So if you want to speed up that, I'll do it with a slash T zero in it, and it immediately reboots. So refreshing uh, that page um, uh, from another Exchange server, uh, so uh, the preview Exchange server, not the RTM installation. And now the L19 EX04 is included in the installation. You see the different version. Uh, and in this case also, it only has one database, the DB04, as indicated in the unattended installation. And it's not part of this specific database availability group. And it can because it's a different version of the Windows Server OS. And probably uh, uh, there, there's some limitation because it, the previous uh, servers are preview versions. Logging in the LX uh, or the, 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 the fourth Exchange server, again with the uh, console version installation, not the GUI version of the uh, logon screen. And then it has to set up things. And that's it. That's the installation of Windows Server 2019 RTM on Windows Server Core 2019. Thank you for your attention.